Over the past decade, more than 7 million plug-in electric vehicles have been sold in the U.S., and the number of public charging ports grew from around 30,000 to nearly a quarter million. Add to that countless private chargers at homes, topping off EVs overnight in garages and driveways across the country. With all that rapid growth comes questions about how all that EV charging will affect our electrical supply infrastructure and how it will be managed. Well, to find the answers, we checked in with the electricity experts. BGE is among the Mid-Atlantic's largest electric utility companies, delivering power to more than 1.3 million Maryland customers, including nearly 80,000 electric vehicle owners. To mitigate possible surges in demand and stress on the system caused by numerous EVs charging at once, BGE offers a time of use rate with discounts for charging during off-peak hours and has recently taken that a step further with an innovative solution to balance demand within that off-peak window using telematics technology. Managed charging is the ability for a utility or a third-party company to control a EV driver's uh, charging. So basically a, a driver would allow the utility to change when that battery is charging to help support grid needs. They put in their daily departure time, which they can change any day of the week, and any time between when they plug in their vehicle the night before and their indicated departure time, we will decide when that vehicle will charge. We will look at who has the earlier departure time or who has a lower battery, making sure that we're fulfilling all customers' charging needs while also maintaining the reliability of the local transformer or the, the greater uh, substation in the area so we don't overload any of those assets. More than 5,400 eligible BGE customers have signed up for the managed charging program so far, each receiving a $10 per month utility bill credit for participating. I was enrolled in the EV time of use rate, and when the Smart Charge Management Program came about, it was no brainer for me to sign up. I had to manage when I was charging my car previously to ensure it was charging off peak at the cheapest times, but now the Smart Charge Management Program does it for me. Another way of balancing grid demand is to take advantage of the energy storage capacity in electric vehicle batteries. At 5 p.m. every summer weekday, this light on Brian Foreman's EV charger changes from blue to green. It signals that over the next four hours, power for his house is coming not from the grid, but rather from the electric pickup parked in his garage. Brian is part of a pilot vehicle to grid program launched by BGE this year for owners of Ford F-150 Lightnings, one of a small but growing list of EVs that are capable of bi-directional charging. V2G temporarily borrows energy stored in EV batteries to augment power in the grid during periods of high demand. So there's, there's a charge station, which is more than just your typical charger, it's a bi-directional charger. So not only does the energy go into the truck, it can take that energy back out of the truck. That charger then communicates with an inverter that sits in the basement of our house next to our uh, electrical panels, and that inverter is really controls the whole system. So it's the one that's telling the truck and the charge station, uh, now it's time, instead of feeding energy into the truck, to feed energy back into the house. And then based on the timing of that, if it makes sense to send that energy into the house or also send it out into the grid. But you can see with the energy that's in vehicles like this about how much energy could go in the grid at different times in case of emergencies perhaps. This truck itself, when we use it for backup power for the house, it can last up to 13 days in my usage. It would be nice in the future to be able to just plug my truck in and say, I can help out. I can send some energy in to make that grid more resilient. The MotorWeek app, which includes our latest reviews and feature stories, is now available for mobile devices.